Welcome to the third part of the series of interview questions for accountants. This part is very important for getting a job. Theoretical questions for the ability to work as a financial accountant. Enjoy the episode on Accounting Times channel. Questions about your accounting background. Let's start. Questions about your accounting background. Like most interviews, accounting interview questions start with getting to know each other. You'll likely get an overview of the role and the company and some details about the interviewer's background in their position. 1. Tell me about yourself. The tell me about yourself question may seem daunting, but preparing three to five key points beforehand can help. The interviewer will want to know your educational background, relevant work experience, and any significant accomplishments you've had along the way. This question also gives you space to explain why you're interested in accounting and why you want to work for that company specifically. 2. What types of accounting software programs are you familiar with? If you know that the company uses specific accounting software that you've never used, focus instead on the software you know and your confidence in those skills being transferable. Never lie about your level of familiarity, though. 3. Describe an accounting process you've developed or improved. This may be a challenging question to answer if you're early in your career. However, the interviewer wants to see that you have critical thinking skills and are open to innovating established practices. For example, you can describe an instance in a past role or internship where you sought to improve a workflow or developed a new way of doing something. Those with more experience should focus on an instance when they changed or created a process that directly impacted the company. For example, you could talk about a time you noticed one specific report that was consistently taking more time than expected. But, you discovered a way to make the process more efficient, saving the company time and money. 4. When facing a tight deadline, how do you react? If you have previous accounting experience, this is a great opportunity to discuss moments when you encourage teamwork among your peers to get an end-of-year statement out on time. This question is also a time to talk about your time management skills. Even if you don't have much accounting experience, you can talk about how you work under pressure and what systems you have to ensure everything goes smoothly. 5. How do you organize and prioritize your daily tasks? Accountants need a high level of organization, nothing can slip through the cracks. This question seeks to figure out what methods of organization you use and how effective they are. You can talk about to-do lists if that works best for you. Additionally, if you have experience as an accountant, you can explain how you split your time between clients, accounting procedures, and working with your team. 6. Do you have your CPA? Having a certified public accountant, CPA, license can sometimes give you an edge over other applicants, but don't be ashamed to tell the truth. If you're working toward your CPA, tell the interviewer, perhaps including which sections you've passed so far or what your timeline to completion looks like, example, will be completed within six months. The CPA license isn't the only certification you can mention, though. Other relevant accolades, like Certified Management Accountant, CMA, or Chartered Financial Analyst, CFA, certifications, can also boost your application depending on your accounting career path. Seven, how do you present information to coworkers and peers outside of the finance department? This question aims to see how well you can communicate complex information to people unfamiliar with the jargon of accounting. One way to answer this is to describe a specific situation where you used storytelling skills and visual aids to explain a new procedure to managers in a different department. You can also list off skills and tips you use when communicating with people outside of the finance team, like using PowerPoints and infographics, avoiding too many facts and figures. Thank you for watching. If you liked the episode, like and share and subscribe to the channel to follow the fourth part.